Hey guys, what's up? It's your girls here, back at it again with another video. And in this week's video, as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be documenting my process in making a journal slash a planner all by myself. Now, I've already watched a few videos beforehand about, you know, how to do them and all that. And I've seen some where they're like, you cut up the paper, then you like clasp them together, put some kind of special glue, and then all that. That, I don't know, that just doesn't seem like my style. I feel like that you could easily like just rip it apart, and it doesn't seem practical for daily use. Like, it doesn't seem like a type of notebook you can keep in your purse with you, or put in your backpack and know that it's going to be all secure and like the pages will rip out. Oh, and before I continue the video, um, this, it's not a real piercing. I, uh, when you zoom in, it's obvious, but when you zoom out, you're probably like, what's that shiny thing? It's, I'm just having fun with some, with some rhinestones, I, I, and I got bored and I did some makeup. But anyways, so the way I'm going to be doing it uh, is I just folded a bunch of papers and I am sewing them like this. The amount of pages I need and all that, I'm basing it off of this planner that I have right here. It's a Supernatural Planner 2019-2020 planner. And I counted out all the pages and in total, there are, I even wrote it down here, there are 111 pages but if you were to like, you know, like how I'm doing it, folding it in half, uh, or that's folded in half, like in half pages, but in total, like in full pages, it's 55.5, and I rounded it up to 56, so I took 56 full sheets, folded them up, and now I'm sewing them like this, and I'm only, because my needle is like a 99 cent store needle, which honestly, that's all you need, like a little 99 cent store kit, since I'm doing that, um, and it's not it's not that durable towards towards something that thick, so I'm using I'm like going like how do I explain it? I'm basically just going like six pages at a time and sewing them together. And then when I do that, through these crevices, I'm gonna uh, crevices. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but through these little areas, then I'm going to sew that all together and. Then that's going to be the inside of the notebook, and then after that I'm going to show you how, like, what I use for the outside of the notebook, slash planner. So I'm going to include a little time lapse of me sewing just this first half, and after the time lapse, I'm going to tell you how long that took in reality, when in the time lapse, it's probably just going to be barely under a minute. Just so I can be able to properly tell you how long this much took, I'm going to put a timer on the second I start sewing and filming. And I've already kind of cheated by, you know, this part, so, but that doesn't matter. This took like, what, five minutes? So I'll just add five minutes onto whatever time is recorded on here. Now let's get started, shall we? I got hella Threadbanger vibe vibes from that, and honestly, that's what I was going for. Just Corinne from Threadbanger every time she begins a DIY project. So I just completely finished sewing seven pieces of paper together and like I said adding like five three minutes on to what was already there. Here I have 11 minutes and 55 seconds so let's round it up to 12 minutes and then adding up that. So basically let's say 15 minutes for seven pages. So for the first time ever after uh, being out of school I did math for the first time calculating how long it would take for me to finish the whole thing. Now if seven pages took me around 15 minutes like it says, it says right here then and I have then like I have I don't know and I have 56 pages to do so then I basically just did 56 divided by 7 which means I have eight of these booklet things to do to then sew on to together now not even counting sewing all the booklets together just making the booklets and well, basically, then I did the multiplier where it's like 15 minutes times 8 booklets, 120 minutes, and basically 2 hours. So if I were to just consecutively, like, only be sewing these booklets all together, it'll take me 2 hours just to create 8 of these. I don't know how long it will take to...
to sew all the booklets together, but we'll find that out when it comes to that. So yeah, I'm not gonna do any more time lapses of me sewing this together because you basically already saw six seconds of me doing that. I don't know how, it's not really that interesting of a process. So I'm just gonna leave it at that and then get back to you, get back to you, get back to this video, I guess, when I finish or when I complete all eight booklets and I will let you guys know how long it actually took because I'm going to put, continue that timer on and see how long it all took in general to see if my calculations were correct. I'm gonna see if my calculations as a failed math student, as someone who constantly got a D in math class, actually got this basic math correct. See y'all in approximately two hours. Bye. I'm back to report that my calculations were in fact correct. It did take me two full hours to sew together um, all eight packets and um, well, booklets, packets, whatever. And then off camera, it took me about 30 minutes to bind them together like this. I haven't completely done it because this is more shut, um, tightly shut than here because I first did one right here and then I went back in again to make it a little tighter. Um, but it is currently 11 p.m. right now. So I'm going to continue timing this uh, tomorrow morning. But other than that, like it is a full on proper dirty notebook and honestly I'm proud of myself this is the first time I've ever done something like this like I've never I haven't even searched for you to be on how to do it I literally just went in my mind and I was like how about I just make one and sew the pages together and then I just I did this and then when I showed my dad this he's like oh my god that reminds me of like my grandfather he used to make notebooks like this and sell them and, and I was like wait people did this in the old times? By old times, I mean like the 1920s. So, you know, the fact that uh, me not even knowing that that's what they did in the old times to make books, the fact that I just thought of this out of nowhere and actually made it properly. Like, when I showed it to my dad, he was like, Are you sure this is not your first time doing something like this? And I'm like, Yeah. He was actually really impressed. And honestly, I'm, I'm kind of impressed too. I'm proud of myself as to the what I made with the little knowledge I have about it. So tomorrow, after I continue binding it together, I'm going to somehow create a cover for it, and then that's when we get towards decoration of the inside where I turn it into a full planner. And just for the proof to show that it actually took two hours on that, I said I would make a timer, and look, the timer says two hours and 22 minutes, and eight seconds and 91, wait, no, 2 hours, 22 minutes, 8 seconds, and 91 milliseconds, I think. But anyway, so yeah. We love it when my math was correct. You know, the math of a failed math student. together and this has just been on here for like an hour just to you know like make it all like close up like I guess that makes sense but this is what it looks like and it's fully binded together so now my plan is since this looks absolutely atrocious I'm going to paint this black and then drench it in black holographic glitter and then Mod Podge it, obviously. And then on here, I'm going to, as a base, put white, and then I'm going to have tie-dye um, all over it. But if I can manage to do this, I'm going to try and make stickers out of, like, the letters, like, um, 2020 to 2021 planner and put it on there so then when I do the tie-dye and then I take it off, it's basically like 
in uh, the text is in white rather than then drawing it in in black or painting it in black. So, without further ado, let's get to a time lapse of the process of me doing it. Because I'm actually remembering to film for once. So, so obviously the first thing I need to do uh, is I'm going to paint this black and to separate the, this from here, I'm going to put uh, tape around the edges. But not any tape, more specifically masking tape that I can peel off without damaging the paper. And if you are wondering about the paper that I used to seal it all together, uh, or like as a cover to then put this all, I basically, like I'm looking at it over there, like in the side of my room, it's basically just watercolor paper that I cut up to the size of the notebook. Actually, scratch the idea of me wanting to put the tape in doing this first, because I realized the tie-dye and all the colors are going to be really messy, so I'm just going to do that and then whatever parts I mess up, then I'll do the black here, and then once I'll like, then once I'm like all finished with it, then I'll mod, mod podge it all at once. By mod podge, I mean just seal it all with mod podge. So yeah, you know what, that's, that's just what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go paint this both sides white off camera and I will be right back. So I painted the white base and now I'm just waiting for it to dry. And while I wait for it to dry, I might as well tell you I have a change of plans when it comes to the idea of like the de decor or how just the um, cover is going to look like. I am not going to do tie-dye. In fact, since it's a fandom related... Um, Oh yeah, I haven't even mentioned that. I'm making it a fandom related um, thing, a uh, planner, so every month has its own fandom. So what I'm going to do is, on I don't know if anywhere I'm going to include tie-dye, but I'll see if I can. But on the front and in the back, I'm just going to have all of the fandoms in all of the months pack, jam packed into one. Because every month will have its own fandom as its theme. I even have it all written down over here. So August is the first ever Woodstock 69, which I have, that well, 1969, which I have the poster right here for. So basically that theme is just hippie culture. Uh, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, and then September, Green Day, because wait, we have one September, and I just, I had to make it Green Day theme. And then October is Supernatural, because like, I guess like, it's spooky, scary, and you know, I mean, supernatural and scary to me, but like, uh, just proper. And then November, I'm having it be, um, like, theater, um, like, musicals, plays, stuff like that. And then also, with little hints of places, something you're not supposed to do in November. I'm just gonna leave it at that. That's, that's all you're getting. And then December is gonna be related, just completely related to the MCU because um, according to my friend, who's the biggest MCU fan I know, um, Iron Man 3, be um, the movie began in December, so she's like, make M like the MCU fandom section December. And I was like, all right. And then January is going to be just for Panic at the Disco because I'm trash for Panic at the Disco. <laughs> if you couldn't tell by my two Panic posters right here, and I have more posters all around my room, Panic posters around my room, so. In February, of course, of course, the one and only Dan and Phil are getting their very own month because, like I said, I'm trash. And then March is going to be some of the artists that I listen to that aren't necessarily emo or punk, so like Lana Del Rey, Bastille, you know? And then for April, I'm just having the theme be complete punk, completely punk bands. Punk and emo. May is... For now, May, May doesn't have much of a theme, except for just flowers and nature. Because that's all I can think of for now. But I guess I can have that correspond with hippie, the, like the, the hippie theme that I have like with Woodstock. If somewhere along the line I end up do having a theme for May, I will like pause the time lapse and t 
tell you about it, but for now it's just flowers and nature. So June, obviously, because of VidCon, I'm having it be YouTubers, like just YouTubers in general. That also includes Dan and Phil, but Dan and Phil deserve their own section as well as being on the YouTube one. But also, what else is in June is Pride Month. So I'm going to make it YouTubers and Pride Month. And then July is basically just going to be makeup. What I mean by that is specific makeup for, like brands, like for, or like makeup and hair care brands. Like for example, Jeffree Star Cosmetics or Good Dye Young, which is owned by Haley Williams. Um, the singer in Paramore, which is my favorite band, as you can tell by this poster that I have here. And just generally other, I guess you could say, like, celebrity ma um, brand, oh, makeup brand owners. But yeah, that's, that's, that, that about concludes it. So uh, the next video you'll see is of me painting the cover and then another time lapse of me beginning the journey of the themes for every single month. It's going to be not that long of a video, but long video I mean like this is probably going to be only like a 13 minute video but in real life this is a long long video like a video that's probably going to take a few weeks so it's officially the next day which means this has been the third day I've been working on this and so I have the cover fully on there painted white and all that and now I also have some pictures that I've printed out here now my layout is basically like, you know, like my themes are fandoms, and fandoms like there's pictures of people, and I'm not that great at that, and that's mainly what my monthly covers are, just pictures of the people, and since my, um, I guess artistic level hasn't reached, like, drawing people realistically yet, I just printed them all out. Like for example, Woodstock, like my Woodstock theme, I was just gonna have it be that poster right here. So instead of like trying to take two billion years to draw it, I printed it out. Or for example, when it comes to like pictures of people like Green Day, I also printed that out. But everything else from like, like for example, like everything else, like when it comes to like having like this, like these themes like right here to like for the monthly days and then for like the everyday type of stuff. The, all of these with the decor all around, that is what I'm going to be doing myself. I only cheated when it comes to the month covers. But that's fine because, you know, like printing out the pictures, cutting them up, and putting the, arranging them in different places um, is an art form, I guess, of itself. Because I see a lot of people doing that with bullet journaling, like cutting out pieces of pictures from magazines, gluing it on, uh, making aesthetics along with their bullet journal. So, like... It's an art form, therefore, I can get away with it. So now, off camera, uh, I'm gonna go cut these up, and then you'll see a time lapse of me gluing them all into its proper places. All right, now I have them all cut up um, and just put into sections by the month by the months using my old plan, like my current planner. So let's get started with the time lapse. So I have finally finished customizing every month. This is for August. September oh dang it I'm not finished with this one but oh well October November and then here we have December which I'm also not finished with yet and then January which I am done with February which I need two more photos and this is March which I'm completely finished with and April May, which I decided at first was going to be all flowers, but then I last minute decided it's going to be all about um, Kick the PJ, and I have space for one more photo here, so that's what I'm going to do later. And then I have June here, and I also have space for one more photo here, which I'm going to do later. But now that that's all completed, I have printouts of the month and stuff, so I'm going to glue that all in. And then after, I'm going to get into the specific days on the pages so I can have space on it. So kind of like this, where every day has some space to write so I can write about my day, kind of like how my Supernatural one is formatted. So I'm gonna do like the same thing, but then I'm gonna have my own little kick to it. I would do a time lapse of it, but um, seems like my phone can't handle time long time lapses because it overheats and then it dies. So you're just not gonna get a time lapse, sorry. Hey guys, so 
I know it's been a while. I've also gotten a haircut since the last time I filmed, but I finally finished the notebook, like painting it. Or not notebook, the planner. And this is what it looks like. This like yellow, like orange theme I got going on here is the front. And then this purple, blue, pink theme that I got going on is the back. And the purple one, as you can see, it has like a yellow reflex. And same with this one, but you can't really see because yellow paint with yellow reflex kind of doesn't make any sense. Um, and this one has purple reflex, which you also can't see because my phone camera quality, at least the front camera, can't capture it that well. There we go. Now you can see how it reflects yellow with the purple paint. And now with the yellow paint the orange paint purple reflex but you still can't see it for some reason but oh well the fact of the matter is that like all that matters is that I can see it and I can so that is officially the end of this video of me making my own DIY planner if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I'm, I'm always doing random creative videos on this channel like whether it's makeup videos DIY craft videos all sorts of random stuff. So again, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification, like the bell notification thing so you can be notified every single time I upload. And I'm also trying to reach this goal by the end of 2020. The goal is in order to be reviewed by YouTube to be a like a creator, I need at least 4,000 hours in watch time total and I need 1,000 subscribers. So, if you like this type of video, then watch all my other videos or promote, like, send this video to your friends so they can, you know, watch this and maybe want to watch some of my other videos, and then I can get those watch hours in and hopefully those subscribers in so YouTube can review me and hopefully I become, you know, a creator, which is kind of my side hustle at the moment with my school and my current job at the moment. But, if I can reach that goal, that would make me literally the happiest person ever. So, don't forget to do all that. Anyways, uh, that is it for this week's video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!